All right, let's jump straight into it. Since my last vlog, I visited Utrecht for the first time with my friend Perla, and we climbed the Dom Tower, the tallest church in the Netherlands. We took a tour inside and climbed up 495 steps. We even got access to a higher floor than usual thanks to construction. Fortunately, it was a beautiful day, so we had a nice view on top. Honestly, coming down was the hardest part because we didn't want to miss a step and slide down 495 steps in a spiral staircase. And yes, my calves were very sore the next two days. So after working up an appetite, we continued to the original purpose of our trip, food. We celebrated the day with a delicious assortment of croquettes, another Dutch fried food delicacy. Okay, and now to switch gears, pun intended. To my great surprise, I've recently developed an interest in cycling. Robert lent me his wife's bike, so now I have a road bike that I can use for exercise. And together, we've been cycling all throughout southern Amsterdam. I even bought a GoPro so that I could document all the places that I go. Safety first. Anyway, the best thing that I've found about cycling has been getting out of my bubble and seeing new places. Especially now that everything is slowly being re-shut down due to corona, it's nice to know that there are still places that I can escape and I can also go with a friend, and we're both being socially distant. If you like to cycle as well, please let me know. I'm always looking for new routes and, of course, new friends. I even brought my bike to Groningen when I last visited Sarah. It's super easy to bring your bike on the train, you just have to be careful not to bring it during peak hours. Sarah just got a road bike as well, and now she's doing her part in contributing to the statistic that there are more bikes than people in the Netherlands. So this is a sad vlog post. I have tested positive for COVID. I don't feel that great. And I'm also really bummed out since this is my last week here in the Netherlands that I won't be able to like have any fun or even take my in-person finals. Um, as you guys can probably hear, I'm a little nasal. I did have a lot of symptoms, all that happened in one day, which inspired me to get tested, and then obviously have their positive results. But ever since before, I had no symptoms, which was super weird, and yeah. Welcome to my cave. That is my room during isolation. Tried eating a bar, can't taste anything. For those of you who know me, protein bars are my joy. So that kind of sucks, like, nothing. I thought I would inform you on how I'm trying to study with Corona, and it has not been very productive. I find that I can last maybe an hour of really hard focus, and then I get tired and take a nap, and that nap's usually three to four hours, and then my day has gone by and then I eat and go back to bed for another 12 to 14 hours. So it's been really hard to do studying for my finals or work on projects with Corona. Hey guys, so it's been 10 days since I fell ill from coronavirus and it's been about 15 days since the first symptom counting which is the Gehede decided that I had my first symptom which I didn't even realize was a symptom um, about five days before it all broke loose and so I can happily tell you and you can probably hear it from my voice and just by my mannerisms I'm doing so much better I just wanted to thank you guys so much for your messages checking in on me thank you to Robert for getting me groceries and checking in every day um, I'm gonna be coming home tomorrow in the US and I feel very healthy very safe I have basically no symptoms now so I'm ready to board the flight So we're here, 6.30 a.m., ready to go home. We made it! Where is she? <gasps> Nora! Nora!
Hey guys, as you can probably tell, I am back in the US and it has been great to be reunited with my family and my pets. Um, it's really nice and just relaxing to finally go home and to know where everything is again and just have that sense of familiarity uh, and comfort. I wanted to take the time now to thank you for watching my vlog series. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you got to learn what it's like being an international student studying at the UVA. And of course, if you have any questions, please still feel free to ask me even though the vlog series is over. I might continue to post on my personal vlog, but we'll see how things go. It's been a wonderful experience. So thank you to the UVA for making this opportunity. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful year and Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever celebration you wanna do, I hope you have a great end of the year and stay safe.